get ready for dictation start i thank you majesty for the gracious words of welcome you have just spoken my wife and i a have been overwhelmed by the warm and affectionate welcome given to us since we set foot on this friendly land i have been looking forward to this visit as it gives us a most welcome opportunity to further strengthen the bonds of friendship existing between our two countries your majesty's visit to india two years ago is still vivid in our memory it is remembered for having opened new avenues of cooperation in diverse fields iran has been a cradle of human civilization her contribution to common heritage of mankind can hardly be over emphasized this glorious country has been responsible for many an illustrious chapter in the history of human endeavor in the field of government art culture music and poetry for millions of my countrymen even for those who have not been fortunate enough like us to have visited this great country iran is not a strange land the aroma of iranian culture and civilization has penetrated indian literature and philosophy since many a century this visit thus provides us an opportunity to reaffirm the links of history and culture which bind our two peoples and provide an unshakable foundation for a multidimensional relationship of friendships and cooperation between india and iran of today the ancient civilization to which we are heirs mold our responses to the challenges we face in the present era they enable us to make our distinctive contribution to the world community it is our common endeavor to modernize our economies without the disadvantages accompanying the processes of industrialization and technological change this we hope to achieve by stressing the importance of a balance between man whose welfare is our prime concern and his environment it is only appropriate for me to say that our present visit is but one in a chain of visits undertaken by the leaders of our nations in recent years we had the privilege and honor to welcome your majesties nearly 2 years ago in india our prime minister visit to iran in 1994 was a most memorable one for us here it was a great pleasure for us to receive prime minister only last month fruits of these visits are now for everyone to see new vistas of cooperation between india and iran have been opened this cooperation is based on 
our own technological capacities and physical and financial resources we are maintaining a continuing dialogue between our two countries on issues of common concern and in finding new ways of augmenting and deepening the range of our industrial and scientific collaboration indo iran economic cooperation already provides a model for other developing countries we in india will do our utmost to promote and develop this mutually beneficial relationship and raise it to new heights my government is convinced that a constructive relationship between india and iran based on close cooperation and political understanding has been made and will continue to make a signal contribution to the stability and peace of our region our cooperation is not limited to bilateral relationships alone in the international arena we are engaged in creating an environment of peace and cooperation both our countries are parties to the declaration of the indian ocean as a zone of peace free from foreign military presence and rivalry both are working together in various international institutions to bring about a new world economic order based on interdependence equality and justice great changes are taking place throughout the world both in the political and economic spheres throwing up new challenges and responsibilities at this juncture iran is fortunate in having your majesty's wise and far sighted leadership we have watched with satisfaction and happiness the phenomenal progress made by iran over the last few years your profound comprehension of the world forces and of the interconnection between world peace and the reduction and elimination of the glaring economic disparities among nations has made iran play an important role in the struggle to bring about a more just international economic order we welcome iran's emphasis on regional cooperation in trade and development and share your vision that such cooperation will lead to global peace and secure regional environment which will deny any possibility of interference by outside forces we fully support your efforts to gain complete control over your national resources and to avail of the limitless opportunities in advances in science and technology for raising the living standards of all your peoples i had visited your beautiful country nearly 8 years ago within the few hours i have been there i have seen unmistakable proof of the great progress made by iran under your statementship mr president sir during the next few days 
I hope to acquaint myself more with this remarkable progress made by Iran in social, economic and technological fields as much as to visit a few famous centers of learning which have inspired countless generations all over the world stop 